Hello, this is part two of the Kocon software installation, known as the Advanced Kocon installation or the database setup. This is a must for all new Kocon installs. So after Kocon has been installed on the computer just by running through the wizard like I have with mine, the next thing you'll want to do is go down to your Televic folder and open the Advanced Installation PDF. In this, you'll want to jump to page 10, and this is where the manual installation of the Kocon database is done. We have to do it manually because Windows had too many variations um, from machine to machine for installers, so you need to go in and do it manually for new installs. So you'll go through this document and follow it step by step. I'm not going to read along, but you can. Uh, first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that Windows is up to date. Second thing you'll want to do is go to your settings and go to your regional settings, select language, administrative language settings, and that takes you to the administrative tab. You'll want to hit change system locale Make sure that this box is not checked. If it is checked, it causes issues with SQL databases. So that's step one. You can go ahead and back out of there. The next thing that you're gonna do, we'll bounce back to this, is we need to actually download the SQL database installer. This is a Microsoft product, so you can follow the link to Microsoft's website and download it. Once you download it, go ahead and run the installer. And we can start with the basic installation. And it'll take a few minutes for the installer to run. And now we have a successfully completed installation. Next, you can move to video three on the Kocon room server setup wizard. Thanks for watching.